Hi everyone, I'll show you how to create a subdomain uh, using cPanel. Um, after that, I'm going to install a Joomla site inside my new subdomain. Right, so first of all, I need to log in uh, into my cPanel and then look for this little button here, which is the subdomain, this one here, oops, yeah, that one. Just click on it and it should take you to the uh, subdomain section of uh, my cPanel. So um, what I have to do here is fill in this uh, information, which is the root domain. I'm going to call it my test. Okay, so my subdomain is going to be my test.trupesista.org, right? And the document root will be uh, public HTML slash my test test right so I've uh, hit create and uh, if everything is uh, all right it should appear I need to go back it should appear on my should appear uh, in my list of subdomains which is, is all right I have one for the students and one called my site okay so now what I need to do is to install uh, the Joomla site in my um, subdomain. So I'm going back to my C panel. I'm going to use Fantastico, which is actually Fantastico because it makes uh, life uh, much more easier if you, if you need to install Joomla or any of these uh, number of um, tools and uh, packages that you can uh, install. Okay. Um, so I'm going to install a Joomla, click on that, and there you are. So in this part, I need to look for my new installation, click here. Now I should be ready to start installing. Okay, so here, um, this is uh, very, very important. Uh, it's asking me whether I want to install it inside my tropicista.org um, uh, domain or if I want to install it in one of my uh, other subdomains. So I'm going to choose my test.tropicista.org and I'm going to install. Uh, if you don't type anything here, it will install it on the root, but if you want to you know, create a folder and install it inside, that's up to you. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. For this case, I will install it on a the root uh, directory okay so the next step is to type an admin name which could be this one a password that I just copied and paste from somewhere and I will delete that later so that's all right don't mind if you know this password because I don't really use it um, now I'm going to type an email here so you can send this uh, installation uh, details to your email and just keep them uh, safe if you need to get back to them. Uh, I'm going to type some, some details here, such as my name, uh, the name of the site, I'm going to call it test, and that's it. Now install sample data. Um, if you want to have a brand new Joomla site, without any sort of menus or articles or other um, items that uh, Joomla install automatically, please untick this, all right? So you will have everything as clean as possible and you can start from the very, very uh, scratch of the, of the um, Joomla, okay? So finally, just hit install Joomla and that should be all right. Now, hit finish installation and uh, that should be all right i'm going to test this um uh, installation here on my my test dot all right so that thing that should be okay there you are you have the brand new Joomla installed here and uh, if you need to go to the back end 
uh, just the uh, uh, type administrator, I suppose. Yeah, should be this one, administrator. And there you are. You are in the back end, and now I can log in, and I'm going to paste my password, and that's it. Um, it's very easy, very straightforward, but you know sometimes we just get stuck with little details and little problems. So if you encounter one of those annoyances, just uh, let me know. I'll be happy to help you. All right? Thank you very much.